Well-known sketch artist Lois Gibson played a role in this case, creating the sketch of the boy while authorities were still trying to figure out his identity. Jessica Borg spoke with Gibson today, and Jessica, she has been especially impacted by this case. She is passionate about her work. Lois Gibson has been a forensic sketch artist with the Houston Police Department here for 36 years. When I sat down with her at her home today, she told me she's been waiting eight months to breathe. She does not let herself get emotional until a person in her sketch is identified. In this case, a four-year-old boy who reminded her of her own grandson. For forensic sketch artist Lois Gibson, it has been a long eight months. The little boy she sketched back in October. My sketch is pretty close. Um, finally identified as four-year-old Jaden Alexander Lopez. It gives you relief. I finally figured out I don't let myself cry when it's unidentified. So for eight months, I just bear up and go, you know, the rest of your life, you may never know. Suck it up. You may never know for the rest of your life. Gibson made the sketch from police photographs taken on the Galveston Beach where the little boy's body was discovered. He was beautiful. I mean, he was beautiful. He looked like he had just died. And I don't believe he'd been in the water in one second. Gibson, an author and teacher, is an expert on facial reconstruction from skeletal remains. She sketched the little girl known as Baby Grace, found in Galveston Bay more than a decade ago. The two-year-old was positively identified by an out-of-state family member within days. And she was a severely decomposed corpse, which took me down because she looked like my daughter. As a baby. She calls her work the hardest job on the planet, but the most rewarding when it leads to the identification of a victim or suspect and brings a criminal to justice. Her sketches are often the only lead for investigators at first. If they don't know the name of a murdered baby, they've got nothing. They're just like, wow, because they haven't been in the Army, there's no fingerprints, they don't have a driver's license in their diaper, they have nothing. But if a sketch can give them the name, wow, they can solve the case. Gibson says she has worked on seven sketches for unidentified children in murder cases. All of them, except one sketch, help police identify those children. We are live tonight at police headquarters in downtown Houston. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News.